Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing what if the Nomakaze had a dojutsu, and this is their dojutsu. And how they're gonna get this is uh, only no Minato knew about this dojutsu because he actually had it, but he couldn't use it to the state that Naruto would be able to use it. He writes a book down and tells the third Okage, if my child ever unlocks this jutsu, this dojutsu, tell them who I am, tell them of their legacy. So, one day, Naruto is, everything goes the same for about five years. And one day, Naruto is pranking the third Okage, about to put a, uh, you know, bowl of, uh, you know, a, you know, Hot tea, basically. Finna give him a Todoroki style face, you feel me? And some nin a ninja catch him, so he darts out the window. And once he's doing this, he gets pierced by a blade, which sends him into a bloody rage. But this rage forces him to unlock his dojutsu. The Isaka, uh, the Ikagan, which is how you say Namakaze in Japanese. You know, the actual Namakaze. It's actually had it in translation. Let me show you, boy. Nah, boy, let me show you, boy, Namakaze. Translation. What? I did not type that. I switch. Okay. That's not what it was earlier, but all right then. That's because I didn't spell it right. I'm dumb. Nami. Okay. Okay. So this ju this dojutsu would be called the Nami. The Nami gun, not just the Nami. Not the Nami gun. So he would he uses the Nami gun and on these guys and it basically sends all their attacks flying back. It's like full counter. So, he keeps, and now he's just starting to dart away. And one actually catches up with him and sends a, a, a kunai straight towards Naruto's heart. But Naruto turns around in time to send it back. But it actually kills the Chunin. Which has Naruto, and Naruto just screams at the top of his lung. And it's a memory, and, uh, not a memory. Pretty much uh, a vision pops into his head, and he's like, "I am of the I am of the Namakaze. I see that you have awakened the dojutsu that only a couple in the Namakaze clan have ever awakened, which means you'll be cursed. Like the Uchiha, once you unlock your jutsu, it is only darkness down there. You have awakened this path." Now you must walk down it alone. No happiness. No love. Only death and sorrow will be given to you, Naruto Uzumaki, son of Minato Namikaze. Which sends Naruto into a spiral. He's like, my father was the fourth Okage. 
It says, the voice says yes. But here's something I want you to know, Naruto. With this eye, you can send back Jutsu. You can capture Jutsu. You can also... This one thing, because you also have the blood of an Uzumaki. You have the ability to seal weapons and items without using any hand signs. This may be helpful, but it makes the curse of the Namikaze eyes even worse. The Namigan is one of the deadliest dojutsus ever dated. It was so deadly that they had it bu- that they had it erased from history. That's why they that's why you see none of your relatives of the Namikaze anymore. They killed all possibility, but they forgot you because your father was the Hokage. They couldn't really do anything to him. So Naruto, as a little kid, realizes, "Oh wow, that's like really bad." And he's only five at this time. He's and the voice tells him one more time, and all he sees is this piercing red eye when he hears the voice. The voice tells him. You will train in solitude for two years before going to the academy. You will be the strongest in your class. Go steal some, He says, go get some scrolls and, of jutsu. And I think he... I think because he's... I think he's because he's an actual spirit. He could probably see Naruto's... And ju- his chakra nature's affinities. So, he says, get some of wind and water. And then then go into the forest, build a hut, and live there. No coming back to the village for two years. I'll appear back in your head every once and again. But, I'll tell you when it's time to go back to the village. Are you ready to embark upon this journey of darkness, Naruto? He says... Anything. Anything you tell me. Because this is the only person that's actually showed compassion and kindness to him. And this actually happened after he saved Hinata. Okay? I have to make this happen after he saved Hinata, bro. I just gotta do it. So, he saves Hinata. And then, he that happens when he's embarking on his way out of the village. He saves Hinata... And something, the voice tells him, hmm, her heart rate, it's going faster, Naruto. You might have to watch her. Like, okay. So, he steals a jutsu. It's a mm, water dragon jutsu, a wind bullet jutsu, and a gale palm. All right? So, he learns those jutsus, and he also learns the shadow clones. And he doesn't mean to, it just happens one time with him trying to use the clone jutsu. So, he has really good chakra control at this time. So, the two years have passed, and he has to go back to the village. The voice comes back like Naruto. It's been almost three months since I've talked to you. It's time to go back to the village. Once you unlock the second tomo of your eyes, I'll come back. And I'll train you how to use that as well. Goodbye for now, Naruto. So Naruto goes to the academy. And he's approached by Hinata. Hinata's like, oh, oh, I want to thank you for helping me two years ago when I was getting bullied. If it weren't for you, I probably never would have even tried to become a ninja. Thank you. And then runs away. And he seems really dark. Now, he was e-boy before Sasuke. He was really emo before Sasuke. So the girls, I think, would be going after him. And him, two years away from people would just look at them with a death stare, like, okay. 
then looks back at the board. And he's actually has the highest marks in the class. He has a good rivalry with Sasuke. He refuses to get too close to anybody, but for some reason, after Sasuke's parents have after Sasuke's clan was massacred, they had a deep connection. They could feel each other or a deeper connection, which made them close friends. And for some reason, that's the only person Naruto ever got close to. And the girls realized that. So now, Naruto has fangirls. Sasuke has fangirls. And one day during a training match, Naruto is going against this student. A random student. Uh, Naruto is the reason he didn't appear in the original. And I'm going to tell you why. So, he, they're sparring. And Naruto uh, probably acts a Accidentally, somewhat, when they threw a kunai at him, accidentally used his dojo to throw it back and now they're dead. You know, something of that sort, I don't know. So, that happens, and then that was that was the twin. He That person had a twin, and Mizuki seen that as a prime opportunity. And they're around, I would say they're around 11 at this time. Uh... So, Mizuki trained this person for about a year, molding them to the perfect way. He says, once you steal the scroll of sealing, you'll be able to kill Naruto without a doubt. You know, blah, blah, blah. So, he, uh, he, Naruto is going to the Hokage. And the Hokage is having a conversation with Ninja saying, Oh, well, this kid stole the scroll of sealing and he's after Naruto. Take him out. So Naruto darts toward the forest using and using his uh gale palm. He actually jumps over a couple of trees, lands right in front of the kid. And then Mizuki shows up. He's like, Ah, so the fox brought in the little kid that stole the scroll for me. I could kill two Ginning with one kunai. No, with one shuriken. Throws the shuriken and Naruto looks at the shuriken, and the shuriken basically bounces back, basically reverses its trajectory, goes right towards Mizuki. Mizuki is able to dodge, but not realizing that that's actually a dojutsu. He uses hand signs. Weave some hand signs, like, uh, you know, goaded on the sticks. So weave those hand signs, and then he, you know, how do you say? <laughs> Destroyed Mizuki. Because Mizuki used a high level jutsu, I think he would use a sand bullet, which actually, which is actually, I meant fireball, fireball jutsu, which is actually the strongest, one of the strongest jutsu, not really, but uh, it's a strong jutsu. So he uses it. And Naruto basically uses his doju to pushes it back, then weaves the hand signs for Gale Palm. Basically uses Gale Palm, knocks the kid out, knocks Mizuki out, and carry them all back to the Hokage. He's like, here, I cleaned up your mess for you. Make sure next time, once you have someone k- trying to kill me, just tell me I'll take them out myself. I don't think there's anyone in this village that could step to me. No one in my class, not my senseis. Hokage, I might even be able to kill you. And when you think about it, Naruto cannot be beaten. Now, yeah, if not, if not, someone's using a jutsu, if, or if their jutsu is coming in from multiple directions, he can't block it because unlike the Byakugan, he does not have 360 view. He only has 180 forward in the sides because he can't see behind him. That's Everybody actually has 180 views, so he pretty much has natural view. And that actually that fight actually sent him into a two-tomorrow state. And the second tomo state is the ability to ex- absorb jutsu. Like the Sharingan, you can copy it, but the absorbing... Basically, you get that, you know the fundamentals of making that jutsu. 
but you can't really copy it. You're still going to have to practice it. So it's not totally like the shrine gun. All right, so now they're going into the bell test. And Haruza says, Kakashi, you are no match for this squad where they stand. Because Sasuke and Sakura have gotten stronger because of Naruto. Because of Naruto, he, Sasuke was pushed a lot harder. And Sakura realized, oh wow, Sasuke will never love me if I'm weak. So now she's around Sasuke to level. Sasuke's around uh, Curse Mark 1 state and of Chu. Curse Mark. Curse Mark State Tuning Exam and Naruto's One Tail State Tuning Exam. So, Kakashi, and I know what you're thinking. Well, Kakashi's not strong enough. Yeah, this is these guys' base form. And I'm going to be. Alright, no, not even worry about it. So, the Zaba. Alright, so they do the bell test and they're going to get Sorizen and they don't fail. They pass because they got a teamwork down. Then the uh, mission against. The Zabuza arc um, goes exactly the same, uh, except he unlocks three Tomoe, which gives him the ability to basically use pr the premiation quirk that Mirio has, but he can't use it for long periods of time, like an entire fight. It's like a burst. like It's like using Kamui, but not really. So if someone punches you, you can like phase through that, but you can't hit them. While you're in the phase mode. And if you're phasing through someone. And you punch through them while you're in phase. And then actually use your. Go into your unfazed state. Your actual state. You actually kill that person. Because your hand is going through the entire body. Like. Uh, K K Kashi doing Rin. Alright. So. Uh, Hinata's actually gotten a no. Uh, Naruto for about five years, and they actually got decent relationship. He doesn't have. She, they're not dating. They're like the she. She can talk to him more because she, Naruto is not a chill per, not a cheerful person. After this mission, I think he'll be more of a cheerful person after Zabu's mission because I think he made friends with Sasuke, and he realizes, and the voice tells him, "I think I've led you." All right, so. He reaches two to my state after the fight. He he's knocked out after the fight and he's listening to the voice. The voice says I see you unlock the two to my state. Naruto, I think I've led you down the wrong path. You should not have to go down the path of darkness because the all the others with this I have. Embark on your own journey. And it basically here's a snap and Naruto goes gets out of the genjutsu of the darkness and pain and all that he realized oh wow i I've, I've killed a lot of people like but he can live with that he realized he was under a genjutsu blah 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 so the grief is a lot less so he's not as cheerful as he is he like half him half his real self and then half of sake sasuke so like a normal person like, not too cheerful, but not too emo at the same time. Um. Alright, so, Zabba's mission goes the same. Now, alright, so we're getting to the tuning exam. The tuning exams first, uh, Naruto basically used the dojo to see what people are. Basically, uh, Makes like someone write down what they're do someone writes down the right answer, and then Naruto basically makes makes them redo that using the reverse part of his um eyes, and that's basically how he gets the answers. Now, Beast Force basically they run into Orochi, my dad runs into Orochimaru, and he gets 